The Vigil stars Abe Davis as Yaakov, a man providing overnight watch to a deceased member of his former Orthodox Jewish community, who finds himself opposite a malevolent entity. Written and directed by Keith Thomas in his feature debut, this is also produced by Blumhouse and was released in late February after getting an international release last year. And thematically, it reminded me very slightly of another film from last month, St. Maud, as both films use horror to tell a story centered around religion, though both films otherwise differ in terms of plot. We learn in the opening text that this process of an overnight watch is real, as it's meant to prevent the desecration of the body prior to burial. Yaakov, despite no longer having ties to his community after an incident from some years ago, agrees to do the watch due to the fact that he needs some money. However, the night turns into him having a test of faith, as he's both haunted by visions of his past, as well as ghostly images of the deceased individual he's watching over, played by Ronald Cohen, and his wife, played by Lynn Cohen, who unfortunately passed away early last year. The film plays out as a series of eerie images and ghostly visions that haunt Yakov over 70 out of the 90 minute runtime. We're not sure if these images are actual demons coming to haunt him, or if he's suffering some severe hallucinations that stem from his trauma, which is a bit of a tire trope in general, but it's still works well enough here as it plays into Yakov's character development later on in the film. Now it's a very slow moving film with each scene built up meticulously. Thomas does a great job with shot composition and he knows what it takes to make an effective horror movie. We also get a very synth heavy soundtrack that, while not fast paced itself, is meant to keep cranking up the anxiety level and add to that sense of being uncomfortable. And I think that effect was achieved. I found the film to be a tad bit repetitive at times with scene after scene of a new ghostly vision that'll make the plot feel just a bit stagnant so I can see some people dismissing it as boring, but I found the creepy images and spine-tingling sound mixing to be engaging for the most part, and the good vastly outweighs the bad. My only other thing though is that the lighting was a bit too dark, and you definitely want to set the right mood with these films, and I think for the most part Thomas accomplished that, but there were a few times it felt incredibly difficult to tell what was going on at certain points, and I found myself having to backtrack during a few scenes to make out things that I believe we were meant to pick up on in the first viewing. But still, I found this to be a solid, well-made film, and despite some issues I had with it, it did grow on me the more I thought about it, and I do look forward to what Thomas does next. If you like slow burn horror movies, this is pretty solid, and I'd say it's worth checking out. The Vigil gets a 7 out of 10. So let me know, did you see The Vigil, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did you find this scary, and what's one of your favorite horror movies this year that you've seen? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, and share it, and for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone, and keep having fun with film.